Hello everyone, Fred's here. Welcome back to the Digital Lean Management channel, where we learn how to digitalize, automate, and augment with AI the Lean Toolbox in Microsoft Teams. In today's video, we are going to dive into the Microsoft Loop app and learn how to prepare a digital whiteboard for your stand-up, huddle, or daily meetings using the Microsoft Stand-up template in Microsoft Loop. Whether you are working remotely or in person, Microsoft Loops makes it easy to collaborate and stay on track. So let's get started. First, let's take a quick look at what Microsoft Loop is. Microsoft Loop is a powerful collaboration tool that integrates seamlessly with Microsoft 365, allowing you to create, share, and collaborate on dynamic pages in real time. Stand up, huddle, or daily meetings are here to help you better collaborate with your team. They are some of the core tools of both the agile and lean ways of working. But now, with remote and multi-location working, you might be struggling to engage your team effectively. Microsoft Loop will help us in solving that. To start, open the Microsoft Loop app from your Microsoft 365 dashboard. Once you are in, click on New Workspace to create a new project workspace. Name your workspace appropriately for your team or project. In my case, I'm creating a template for the operational team of Evergreen Renewable Energy, a fictional company that we are using for our example today. After creating your workspace, navigate to the template section. Here you will find a variety of templates to choose from. For this tutorial, we will be using the stand-up template. Select the stand-up template and open it. The template is designed to help you and your team stay organized during your daily meetings. It includes section for team members, daily goals, blockers, and updates. This is a good starting point and we will customize this template further from there. Let's customize this template to fit our specific needs. Let's change the title of this loop template and let's clarify the instructions to make it clear to everyone that this template is to be used as a support of the daily huddle meeting. So now, to update this template further, I can leverage blocks set up by Microsoft in loops. For that, I will press the forward slash key and a drop down will appear with all the types of blocks available. There is a wide range of possibilities and this is one of the strengths of loop. It goes from tables to checklists, titles, Kanban board, progress tracker, and even some direct links in sync with Trello, Jira, Azure DevOps, etc. We'll be using a few of those for this tutorial. And if you don't see some of those, ask your admin and they will be able to set up those for you in the background. So now with just a few clicks, I will add the date of the day, update my team's name and start adding the names of my team members in the designated section. You can easily add or remove members as needed. Okay, then let's change slightly the sections of this template. I don't need the scope section, but instead I would like to add an agenda for my daily huddle. So we get some consistencies on how it is run. And little bonus, I will update the emoji into a target emoji. For that, press the Windows key and the period button. I like to run my daily morning meetings in four sections. One for announcements, one for the review of the previous day performance, and one for the plan of the day. And finally, having a quick sanity check on the longer term continuous improvement initiatives. So I'm going to set that up. Now that this is all done, I will add the first section for announcements. For that, I will use the callout block. And actually, we have a new joiner in the team, Lynn. So this section will be perfect to officially announce our arrival. I will add the title and I'm going to boost this section to have all the team noticing. I will now add the second section, review of previous day performance. There specifically, I want to understand if we have achieved our objectives yesterday. Therefore, I will leverage the progress tracker block and I will add each of the team members in the owner column. I will set up the end date as at yesterday, and I'm pretty much happy with the rest, the progress status, etc. and I will not change anything further. Okay. 
Going to the next section, plan for the day, I will reuse the block created by Microsoft update and I will rename it into plan for the day. Here, we will be looking at understanding the capacity of the team for the day. Are we able to achieve all the tasks we have to do as a team and individually, or who needs help and in the team who can help? For that, I'm going to update the feelings colon and create a new label that I will call rack status. In this label, my team members will be able to choose between three status. I can help, I cannot help, and I need help. So we can make it very clear during the morning meeting on to who needs support during the day. This rack status can of course change during the day and therefore directly within Microsoft Loop, I will set up an automation that will send an alert to the team if anyone changes his status during the day into I need help. In the continuous improvement section, team members can list any obstacles that might prevent them from achieving their goals. This is a crucial part of the stand-up meeting as it helps identify issues early and find solutions as a team. Here, I could leverage the action item section of the template, but instead we will use the sync functionality between Jira, Planner, and MS Loop. The HR Ops team of Evergreen Renewable Energy uses Jira to manage issues and they use Planner for everything related to continuous improvement. The beauty of Loop is that I will be able to plug in a few clicks all of those scan bands and they will all act in sync. Let's start first by adding the CI action plan. Adding it from Planner is very easy. I will just copy the link towards the URL in Planner and paste this link in Loop and that's all done. I now have a planner component in loop and I can report on the progress of this planner during my daily morning huddle meeting. To add the Jira HR Ops issue management, the process is also very straightforward. After having created a new title for the section, I will press forward slash to add a new block and from there, I will select Jira and follow the prompt to create a connection and sync it with my Jira board. I now have a Jira board in sync in Microsoft Loop, in Teams, and in Jira. Finally, in the relevant link section, I will add a link toward the Teams channel of the HR Ops team. And I will make sure that all my team members have access to the daily meeting template in MS Loop. We now have an awesome whiteboard fully functional, that looks great, and that syncs between all the main team's application. But guess what? That's not all. There is even more to MS Loop. One of the best features of Microsoft Loop is real-time collaboration. Team members can update their sections simultaneously, and everyone will see the changes in real time. This ensures that your stand-up meetings are efficient and productive. This works across different apps, so I can take my previous day performance or my plan for the day, add it as a component, and simply paste this component in the team chat of my daily meeting. From now on, the components and the stand-up whiteboard are in sync. I can update, update them from any device or application. They will always display the same information. And that's it. You have successfully set up a digital whiteboard for your stand-up meetings using Microsoft Loop. Remember, the key to a successful stand-up meeting is clarity and communication. And with Microsoft Loop, you have all the tools you need to achieve that. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more tips on how to digitalize, automate, and augment your lean tools and techniques with AI. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.